Hello and welcome back. Just a short little video today on the Xbox 360 hard drive. Now I came across this, a lot of these for sale on eBay and I'd never seen this before. I knew what an Xbox 360 was but I'd never owned one and while I knew it had a hard drive in it I didn't realize that it was attached to the side of the console and it was removable. So literally on the side of the Xbox you would snap it in like this or if you had it vertical it would be on top and you could just push this little button and it would pop right out. It had a proprietary connector on it which combines SATA with power and you could buy a larger capacity hard drive from Microsoft and snap it on. So then you'd have this old hard drive and you'd be like well what do I do with all the game saves I have on it? Well Microsoft and third-party companies made a special adapter USB cable for this and you would plug this into the proprietary port and then you would plug the USB into your Xbox 360 that had your new hard drive attached to it in the old place where this was and then you put in a little disk and it would uh, run a program that would copy over your game saves from your old hard drive to your new one. Well I'm not really interested in that but when I saw this cable on this hard drive I was like well wait a minute can you just use that as like an external drive? So I bought this. These are like seven dollars for these 20 gigabyte ones and like this was seven dollars too for the adapter. I mean they're just practically giving these things away on eBay. So I got it in and let's see. So you put it in like this and I plugged it into my iMac and it came up and it was an unformatted drive. The guy had wiped it and naturally this being a Microsoft hard drive I formatted it in Apple's new APFS file system and it worked perfectly fine. So let's see if we can get it to work with the iPhone. Now one thing is with this being a uh, SATA hard drive in there the battery on the iPhone is not going to power this thing up. In fact if I even plug in the lightning port here uh, getting power from the wall adapter is also not enough to power up this hard drive. So we are going to have to bring in a powered hub to get this to work. So I'll plug the adapter cable into the hub and then we'll plug in the hub to the iPhone. There it is. Now in my last several videos, I usually will copy down a folder with just a few pictures in it and a song to play just to test it out. And usually on some of this old media, or especially the SCSI to USB adapter that was 1.1, this would take like 30 seconds sometimes for this stuff to copy down. But I think you'll be surprised to see how fast this copies onto this drive. Yeah, it's literally instantaneous. It's completely different. And if I go in here and pull up the pictures, there's no lag. If I play the song, I don't have to wait for anything to cache. It just automatically starts playing. So this is night and day difference in the speed between some of these older devices that I've been showing off lately. So, like I said, just a short video today. If you want to be the coolest tipster in the coffee bar, I suppose you could carry around one of these with the cable and use it as your thumbstick. But uh, honestly, I just wanted to show off this rather unusual uh, removable hard drive from um, the Xbox 360. I thought that was very interesting. So anyway, that's all for today. If you're liking these videos, please like and subscribe. I will have more to come, but that's all for now. Take care.